what's going on everybody? Me and Peter are here with some flesh and blood. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is Monarch, so this is the newest set, correct? Yes, that's so, the set that's out on 7th of May. Yeah. And we're here on the day before the pre-release with my pre-release kit for, uh, for one of the... But I'm opening some facts, because you can't keep a cardboard addict away from cardboard. Uh, and plus, I also started to play this game, and it's amazing. So do you want to quickly run us through this? Yeah, uh, so each set comes with six first edition packs and two cold foil promos. Uh, one is Ray of Light. A ray of hope, sorry, which is an anti shadow hero uh, card. So it's a one cost light instant, so you can run it in any light hero. It pitches for two, it's a yellow card. Attacks you control get plus one damage while attacking a shadow hero this turn. Mm -hmm. And if you have less health than an opposing shadow hero, you put this into your soul. So it's a very good way to uh, get the cards in your soul for either your warrior or illusionist hero. And the shadow one is Eclipse Existence. Uh, with, like. yeah, yeah, it's a shadow instant. It costs zero pitches for free, so it's a blue card. And whenever an attack you control hits a light hero this turn, you may banish a card from their soul. If you do, they lose one health. And if you have more health than opposing light hero after you resolve the first part of the effect, you may banish an action card from your graveyard, which is kind of what the deck wants to do because you want to banish your cards with blood dead. Either if you're chain you want to play them, or if you're the other lady you want to be able to play uh, your stuff from Banish. But enough blue ball in Peter. So you on the shadow, I am, I'm on I the am light. I am blocking the shadow, you are the light. Um, yeah. We're going to be doing pack wars. Yep. So we're going to be opening all six packs. Uh, this is still going to be my sealed pool, but we're going to open well, all six... content, we've got to make it competitive, you know? So the game is not designed for pack wars. <laughs> what we're going to do is open a uh, pack each... Uh, until all three packs are open, uh, take the token out, take the equipment out, and we're going to quickly look through the cards to see what foils and rares we got, and then we're going to sleeve, and eventually we're each going to shuffle up our three packs, and then we're going to play against each other with one of the heroes we pulled. I'm going to be playing with one of the light heroes, he's going to be playing with one of the shadows. shadows. It's yeah. pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so yeah, light first, right? Sure. In chess, chess white goes first. So. Yeah, it's kind of like chess, isn't it? So yeah, we do have gloves in case we do pull the a legendary, uh, the fab either the fabled or legendary card, which can be worth. I, 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 I love that the fact that the highest rarity things are called fabled. Uh, so I have hatchet of mind and spectral shield. Sadly, not a hero. Uh, so oh, they changed the orientation of the packs. Ooh, which is interesting. So I have here seven class cards. One, two, three. Okay, and this is shadow. Okay, so there is five kind of generic because I have one shadow, one light, three generic, six class cards, which is just weird. Okay, uh, then we have this is a foil. This is our rare foil, and then we have two rares after that. So we have a rare foil. Uh, that's an equipment piece, and we have two other rares. Oh, did you get the same rare? As we yes, did the foil? that's cool. And it's exactly the same pitch value as well. Which is interesting, and it's Shadow, so it's for you. Well, we're off to a good start with Shadow, so this is my first ever Flesh and Blood, blood pack, so. Yeah, uh, I'm. Tries to be gentle. Yes, please. Tries to be gentle. I'm just gonna hand that to you. And then Carlington, so this is like the hero or. Equipment, right? Uh, that's going to be yeah, the token card. So it's either hero, weapon, or. So a rune blade token. Yeah, this is a token for chain. Okay. Uh, so then we've got Dread Screamer. So we have some commons up front for. Through reality, cool name. And it pitches for free, which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, Hungering Slaughter Beast! <gasps> Herald of Tenacity! Um, We're going to start leaving. Where my... do we go to open until we split? Uh, got you flight. go further on because I think the all the uh, the cards are. Oh, I got an instant called a blinding beam. So out of the shadow pack, a lot of these seem very angelic. <laughs> I got all the shadow cards, right? Uh, I got Yinti Yanti, which is like Yin yeah. Yang, I guess. Yeah, that's it cool. Is. And cool. Uh, my oh, a battle, but oh, belittle, not battle. Belittle. Um, belittle my... and Mino is oh, is no, a combo. Still going, still going, still going. Combo, uh, combo. I think you go on to uh, equipment slot. Warmonger's reticle. No, re rec rec Yeah, reticle. 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 
Uh, oh, this is my foil, foil, so it's a yeah. common, but it's hungering slot to be so again. It's the foil yeah. came in the pack. Uh, Dream Weavers is a common. Yeah, that's a common equipment. So this uh, is the equipment. Got, so you take this one aside. We got Plow Through, which is a warrior action, and that's my rare. Yeah. And oh, I got a Mythic. Oh, now and you got the Shadow One as well. It's really nice. Shadow of Ursa. It's also majestic, not a mythic. Oh, sorry, majestic. Wait, no, I know exactly why I'm doing this. Yes. Because you did uh, this. Let's let's do some zoom. Uh, let me actually focus on this. There we, there go. we go. There's some nice zoom. Shadow of Ersa. So it, it pips you for free. It's a zero cost. You may play Shadow of Ersa from your banished zone. Yes. Uh, which is essentially the drop, right? No, no banished zone is, is banished zone. So yeah. this is something we this is the, used. This is, yes, this is a specialization of shadow heroes. They do play with their banish. Ah, okay. So this is, for example, something you could banish with your Eclipse existence. Okay, very nice. With your um, promo. As an additional cost to play Shadow of Ursa, you may banish a card with blood debt from your hand. If you do, Shadows of Ursa gains go again, which is awesome that we always like yeah, that. And the card costs zero. And the card does cost it, and then we also have blood debt. So yeah. So okay. at the end of a turn, if it is in your banish, if you don't turn off the blood debt, you do take damage. Yeah. So or if you go. play it from your banish, it does go to your drop. It's not foil, but it still yeah. looks awesome. It's majestic still. Uh, so yeah, if you want to sleeve uh, that one up. Yeah, let's put this one in. And I should start. I'll actually put this one in the proper sleeve. Yes. Not in the penny sleeve. There we go. So those are yours. Right. I'm going to go into the next pack. Come on, give me library. Man, if you with with all the majestic and if I'm if I'm going the majestics are fairly common at the moment because they got rid of super rares. But if, uh, okay. if I'm going to pull in or oh, seeds of agony, I absolutely love this card. Ooh. So it's a shadow card you can play from your banish. It costs zero. The next uh, attack action card with cost two or less, or depending on the color you have, uh, has an effect. Deal one arcane damage to your opponent hero. Oh wow, that's yeah, and it arcane, has go again. Arcane is like non-combat damage, so yeah. that's really cool. And I don't think we do have any arcane barrier in this set. We oh. have spell void, which is a new thing. Uh, I got another foil rare shadow card. <laughs> I mean, give me all uh, those shadows, baby. Oh, uh, remember to zoom back out. Oh yeah, my bad. There we go. Uh, and I think I also did I lose focus? No, I didn't. So I have a four and oh wow, I got a majestic weapon for light illusionist. What? I have not seen this one. Okay. So this is a card we haven't seen on the spoilers yet. Oh wow, epic. So during your action phase, illusionist auras you control are weapons with one attack and once per turn four zero attack. But they don't have go again. While there's a card with a yellow color strip in your page on illusionist attacks you control have go again. This is literally Illusionist is supposed to be playing Library of uh, Solana, Great Library of Solana, because that's all support for the yellow cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this m makes all of your auras be a free uh, attack for one damage that has go again. That's crazy. You just chip down on the opponent's life. That is actually This crazy. is ridiculous. I'm playing Illusionist. Well, I love it. Of course you are, because you're you're playing the light deck. I mean, I could be going into the... Well, actually, we haven't pulled a hero warrior. yet, have we? No, we haven't pulled a single hero yet. No heroes yet. Uh, yeah, none of mine are heroes. And yours is not a hero either. We can still proxy the heroes. Like, I guess, yeah. On the phone or something, but... This is an amazing pull. And is what's in the rest of the pack? Uh, I just had a lot of shadow, uh, good shadow cards. Uh, some decent light illusionist stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm. I think on my pre-release I will be playing uh, illusionist though. Oh yeah. Just pulling this in this is just. There we go. Thank you. I'll just let you pick it up. Oh. There we go. And I. Wait. Did I go the wrong way? So this, no, this is token. Yeah. And you got the normal weapon for this. So compare this, which makes your attacks cost three and deal four damage, to this, which attacks cost zero. <laughs> I have only one damage, but still. So grappling crawl, growl, uh, bounding demigod, unworldly bellow. I'm not going through majority of the comments. Spears of serenity. But this is something we haven't swing. seen. Ooh, how old a rebirth tree? <laughs> Minnow swim. 
Minoism. Wisdom. Minoism. That's uh, Terror and Fraud from Mortal Kombat. Um, Overload! Uh, surging Militia. Rising Solidar. Solitide? Solitide. Oh, and I got a foil rising Solitide! Aww, that's a common. Uh, and then we have a common Halo of Illumination. Yep, so that's equipment that goes in a separate file. Light of. Uh, and my rare is Light Warrior Action Attack. And second. And an Out Muscle. Okay. I mean, two Majestics in here, uh, one being for Shadow, one being for Light, makes it difficult on what I'm going to build for my pick, to be honest. Because Shadow of Orser is not bad, but I think it's way better when you actually have all the cards to play. Mm. Well, I'm going for my first pack. My last pack, what I will get. I have a hero. Oh! I actually have the good hero as well because I have Prism in the young version and on the... Oh, I got the double-sided Prism! Huh? Oh, wow. That's cool. That's nice. That is cool. That is really cool. So we have Rifted Torment, Bonia Tomorrow, the Rift Bind, Cross, of, Cross the Line, Wartoon Herald, Take Flight. Uh, I always wanted to be able to fly. <laughs> Void Ray, Rising Solar Tide. Overload, Frontline Scout. I really like this card. So when you play it, you look at your defending hero's hand. Oh, wow. Just uh, and if you played it from the Arsenal, it has go again. Oh, wow. That's really good. Just see it's your really interesting card. card. So we didn't get anything fancy here. So it's a foil common. I'm sad. Uh, this is equipment. And we have Paul Pink, which is a brute action. And Unhallowed Rides, which is a Shadow Rune Blade. Mm. If you have played a non-attack action card this turn, you may play Unhallowed Right from your Banished Zone. And you may put non-attack action card with Blood Death from your graveyard on the bottom of your deck. Wow. So that's... In Chain, that's actually quite good. Yeah, okay. So, shall we get for your we'll last We'll go pack? on to our final pack. And then we go on to the deck building... Oh, we can still pull a Fabled card. The library, right? Yeah, I, I saw one that library. Card is beautiful. There you go. So I got an axe. That's a token. And what's on the other side? Oh! It's a light hero. We did get a hero, but not the one I needed. Yep. Uh, so I've got Dread Screamer, Rift Bind, Hungering Slaughter Beast. <laughs> I love that guy. Another one. Uh, Herald of Ravages. Wow, that actually looks Another badass. Another one. Express Lightning. Uh, Enigma Chimera, Belittle, Spell sh uh, Spew Shadow, yeah. Black Tribute, Memorial Ground, Illuminate, and we got a foil Lu oh. Lunatide Plunderer. It's a common, right? Yeah, we got Blood Drop Bracelet, the equipment. Phantasmify, and oh. Vexing Malice. So I mean, there was two Majestics. We got two Majestics. I feel like that's pretty good. I think that's alright. Uh, it pre-releases six packs, you know. Yeah, the average is every four packs, so... High roll? Yeah. Find a pack. Three. So I'm going to go first. Indeed. So here we are, guys. We're setting up for our pack wars, our own little mini format out of the six first edition Monarch from Peter's pre-release. Peter's pre-release, that kind of is. Um, do you want to just ru run them by quickly, the rules? So obviously people are going to be like, that's light, that's li illusionist. Um. Uh, so generally we're doing pack wars. In pack wars you open the packs, uh, or a pack, mix them together, add a couple of basic lands in magic, and then you go on playing. We decided to just mix uh, three decks together, sorry, three packs together. We are not looking at the requirements of the cards at all. Yeah. Uh, we are not taking out anything, so I have 42 cards. Scott has 43 cards, because I pulled in the ma Majestic equipment. Yep. Uh, I was sadly left with only two equipment pieces. One is Warrior equipment. Uh, my weapon attack gets plus one this turn, and go again. Suddenly my weapon cannot attack. Uh, I've got some interesting stuff, because, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a shadowy dude with, like, a halo of illumination and dreamweavers. Um... But the blood, the the blood drop broke broke it, 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 broke it. Yeah. 
Okay. I, I don't know how to say it, but it's an instant destroy, blood drop, broke again. Um, gain a resource. resource, activate this ability. Uh, only if you have been dealt or been dealt damage this turn. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, uh, you have Halo of Illumination, which is for light heroes. But uh, instant destroy. Uh, so pay one resource, destroy Halo of Illumination, and put the card from your hand into your hero's soul. Um, if it's a light card, draw a card. Yeah. So as you, even though you are a shadow hero, you can still play light cards. Yeah. So you can still put cards into the soul. What's the soul? Soul is cards just underneath your hero. Okay. Like for example, my prism requires me to banish cards from my soul. That's cool. Uh, so yeah, you're first. Yes, and I drew very shadow heavy hand. Uh, I mean, I'm going to probably try to hit something. So I'm going to pitch Zealous Belting. I'm going to attack you with my Shadow Action Attack, which is hitting for seven. That's, uh... If it hits a hero, I banish it and up to one card from their soul. I've got nothing in my soul. Yep, um, I'm still going to be banishing this if it hits. So I have to defend this now. Uh, that's kind of problematic. Uh, I have no defense on my... Uh... Equipment. Yeah, that is, that's actually true. I do have at least a uh, defense on my equipment. So if I've got an additional cost to play something, can I not play it if I don't meet that additional cost? That is correct. Oh shit. So if a card requires you to banish cards from the graveyard, etc., you do need to have those in the graveyard. Ooh, this is tough. So I'm going to defend with this. So something free. else? Uh, yes, thinking. Thinking. Because that's only if they're in my banished right that I get blood debt. Yes, um, that is correct. In the drop zone or in the discard, they don't do anything. <laughs> oh wait, this actually works! Because my illusionist auras are considered weapons. Oh wow. So I can increase the attack of all my weapons by one. Nice. Uh, so that's six. Yep. Um, do you take one? Actually, we're going to do this. Yeah. Okay, so that's five. So do you take two? No, we're just going to cough well. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so this didn't hit, so it goes to the graveyard. We need to put a card in my arsenal. This goes to the bottom. And, I, and we both draw until we have four in hand. Cool, my turn. Yes! Cool. Um, I agree. Okay. But is it? Okay. Um, so I'm going to create, use my thing to create my token. That's it again. Um, so the next rune blade uh, or shadow action you play has go again. Yes. Um, so that doesn't work on generic cards and light cards. <laughs> That's true. Um, you 
you do you have anything in your soul? Another the bomb now. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna use so the next thing I use has uh, go again. So yes. Does that include this? Uh, I think that says action. Uh, yeah. It's your next rune blade or shadow action. Yeah, I'm not sure if a weapon action is an action. It's fine. I've got. I've got. I think it. It means the action card in here. Yeah, we're gonna pitch this. Yeah. To do this. Ooh. So not only am I attacking, I You're also going to deal, deal two, two arcane damage, uh, which I don't think you can defend. I cannot defend arcane damage. That is correct. I don't have spell void. Uh, and also, I get go again on this. Correct. That is correct. Yes. Uh, so regarding me defending, I will decide to defend against this. I'm going to use both of those, and this has a new type of a skill for armor. I can pay one; it gets plus two armor, but I destroy this when the combat chain ends. Okay. Uh, and this one just has battle one, so that's three. But I do take two arcane. Yes. Uh, cool. And uh, so the chain's gonna close. Yeah. So my plate is destroyed. It goes to the discard because it matters right now, and I get the minus one counter here. So you had two left. I'm going here. Ooh. Uh, so my next weapon attack this turn gains plus three, and if this weapon is defended, it gains an additional plus one. By an attack action card, right? Sorry, I'm just going to read this. Uh, again, if this weapon is defended by attack action card, it gains plus one until the end of turn. Eee. Okay. Uh, and then I'll use my last resource. Yeah. To use my galaxy blade, which is now at four. Um. So if you have played a card from your banishment, which you haven't, so that's fine. Uh. So this is just a four. And if it hits a hero, it deals one arcane damage to that hero. What? Could you not? Mm hmm. Well, I'm going to take it five. Total. Because four from the attack and one the arcane damage. Uh, and then I'm debating. You don't have action anymore. No, but I'm as in putting it oh, in my yeah, arsenal. Yeah. Oh, I said it right! Yes, you did. Proud of you. I will arsenal this. Yeah. So uh, I will draw to four. Cards from the pitch go to the Sorry. bottom. Yeah. Cash from the pitch to the bottom first. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to pitch my consuming aftermath, which gives me two. <laughs> I'm going to play my pre-release promo, uh, Ray of Hope. So attacks I control have plus one while attacking a shadow hero this turn. Mm -hmm. And if I have less life than an opposing shadow hero, which I do, I put this in my soul. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ha! It's magic. I think that was your phone. Yes, you wish. And then I have one more resource left. So I'm kind of debating. Yeah, I will just do this. I'll attack you for five. Okay. I'm attacking you for five. And if this hits, I put this in my soul. Hmm. You want it to hit? Do I? It goes to my soul. Oh, okay. I'll uh, I'll take the four damage. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You, it's uh, five damage. Uh, um, but it, it it fuels my light cards, right? Uh, I will defend for two. So you take three? Yeah. Because it has plus one. Yeah, yeah, uh, it is fine. Uh, so, so this goes to my soul. Uh, 17, right? Yes. So my card goes to the bottom and I draw four. So uh, now it's start of your turn, so your soul shackle works first. So that's banished. Oh. Uh, I think it's the same one I used, isn't it? Hits a hero. 
Banish it. Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, Lunar Tide Plunderer. It's the same oh, one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But man's foil, so it's better. Is it? Yeah. Foil. Oh yeah, it is. Damn. Yeah, actually, those ghosts look really sick in uh, like the foils. Mm -hmm. Um, so at the start of my turn, I'll do another token. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so I'll just use a not that one. That one is for resources. Oh, that's just, this is resource. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and so I my next thing gets to go again. Should I have done that? Do I actually have a room blood? I don't. Well, I guess I do. Uh, hmm. Right, so I'm going to try and do this because it says as an additional cost to play it, but mm -hmm. then it says if I do it. Uh, you may banish a card with blood debt from your... You may. That's the important thing. Oh, okay. So, yeah. If you don't, that's fine. It just doesn't get go again from its own skill. But it has go again from chain. Ah, uh, yeah, it's banish free run, not you may yeah. ban it. Okay, okay, cool. Cool, that's yep. fine. Uh, so, but it still has go again because of... Uh, yeah, because of chain. That is correct. Yes. So you're hitting for... You're attacking for two, right? Currently, yes. I mm. I will guard for free. Okay, that's fine. Um. You have to still let go again. I know. Um, I'm going to pitch this uh, yep. to pay one resource to s smash this. Yeah, so this time it actually matters, so it does need to go to the drop. Uh, this goes into my soul. Yep. Because uh, it's a light card, I draw a card. It doesn't go to the arsenal, it goes to the soul. Ah. Uh, so it, it is under your hero, like mine. any auras so that's not very helpful nope um not do i to be fair but yeah huh oh actually yeah because it's technically an attack action so using my remaining resource i'll use this so the next attack card i get to plus two and then if it hits it goes into my hero's soul yeah um, That's fine. And I will attack with. Uh, oh, it costs zero? Yeah. It, I don't think I get the effect because I don't have. No. Uh, uh, I'll take one actually. Will you? Yes! I'm not going to defend. But plus two from this. Oh, so two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, plus two, yeah? Yeah. So I go down to ten. Yeah, that's and fine. And then this goes into my soul. That is correct. Whoa. And I, aren't you the one who's meant to be putting things in your soul? I have to. That's fair enough. Uh, and then nothing to Arsenal, so I'm yep. going to draw to four. Oh, actually, put this at the bottom. Then I draw to four. Yeah. I have a very specific reason why I did that. Because okay. I, I am popping off this turn. Oh, he's popping off. I don't like the sound of that. I'm going to pitch this to go Convulsion from the Bellows of Hell. <laughs> it's an amazing. It's a rare. It's an additional cost. I need to banish three random cards from my graveyard, which I have exactly three. Okay. Uh, if a card with six or more uh, power has been banished this way, the next attack action card I play this turn gets plus three damage and dominate. Oh. And, and this card is seven. Uh, yeah, dominate means you uh, can only defend with, with one, one card. Thing, right? And I have this magical card in my uh, banish right now, which can be played from my banish. Uh, then I am going to play my Minoism. The next attack action card with uh, three or less basic power mm -hmm. gets plus three. And I have a go again. Okay. And then I'm going to pitch this. Uh, so I'm going to have one left, which I'm not going to do anything with. And I'm going to attack you with Void Rave for nine. Bro. With Dominate. <laughs> with nine? So, because of Minoism, this gets plus three, and because of Convulsion from uh, the Bellows of Hell, it gets additional plus three. So it's a total of nine. I decided to do something fun. 
Oh, you know what? <laughs> you can only defend with one card. So you're taking at least six damage. I think. I'm just gonna take now. Just gonna taking take nine. nine. Yeah. I did. I did the damage. Yeah, you did. Like a truck, man. <laughs> like a truck. Actually. <laughs> and I'll end my turn. Oh, thank you. Uh, you so banish two cards. Banish two. Do I get anything off that? Nope. Do I get anything off this? Nope. Oh. Um, I don't have any rune blade, so I'm not going to make another token or oh. shackle. Um, I should say. You're not going to be shackling your soul. No. Oh. I have lots of cards that can be played from the banished zone. <laughs> Who would think that illusionist playing shadow cards can be busted? Yeah. This. The zealous belting! While a card is in my pitch zone with a an attack greater than the zealous zelting beating base attack, it gets go again. Six is greater than five. Yeah. It gets go again. It's but it does big. cost two to play. Yeah. So. It is big though. Yeah, five. Uh, yeah. Just, just. Uh, uh, I'm going to defend with six. That's fair enough. Um, okay, that's that. Um, interesting. I'll attack with Overlord. Blood. Let's dominate. And if it hits, I can go again. Yeah, it hits. Boom! I can go again! Um, and because it hits, I'm going to destroy this. Oh, actually. Do I want to do that? Ooh. Ooh, actually. Can instance go in Arsenal and be used? Yes. Um, I'll do that in a second. Uh, so I will, I'll sacrifice this. Okay. Uh, to gain. Oh, so you can attack, attack with. Attack with my blade. Yeah. Um, so that goes to the drop and then I'll swing. Uh, if you have played a card from, from your banish, you have not. not. So it's uh, just one. Swing! Galaxy! Yeah! Woo! Go! And then obviously then I uh, On my last opportunity when you're ending the turn, I'm going to pay to banish a card from my soul and get the shield! Oh! One, two, three, four. I've drawn four. Yep. Just wanted to show the camera how that's hilarious. I'm going to pitch this. Yep. Banish a card from my soul. Make uh -huh. another shield. Oh, and then, sorry, that's at the bottom of my deck. And then I'm going to attack you for one. That's rude. Because uh, my weapon makes it into it makes it into weapon that attacks for one. You're going in for one, huh? Yes. And it has go again because I have a yellow card in my pitch zone. And it's not black, is it not? It's uh, illusionist, but it's not light nor shadow. You need it to be shadow. Um. <laughs> it might be that card you've got right there. <laughs> it might not be! Uh, I still pay for it. Ooh. I didn't pull a card that uh, lets me play free tokens. Like, that's what I needed here. What's charged? Uh, put a card. It, it charges a keyword that puts a card from your hand into your soul. Ah, okay. Uh, so you're swinging with... My Spectral Shield for one. Just one? Yes. Do you get anything for hitting? No. It's just going again. I will take the one. Okay. I'll swipe for one. I'll go down to six. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did the thing. You did. Uh, so you've drawn for four. Yep. Um, so my turn, I will... Uh, do I... At the beginning Your of my first, first, it yeah. will be... You need to um, do that first. So banish... Nothing. Banish... 
No. You can't play it from the... Oh, no, it's Illusionist God, no. It's, it's French, are you? Um, so, uh, I will use this effect. Yay. <laughs> ah, chains. Chains yeah, everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Have you noticed his name is Chain? My name is Chain and I'm Chained. <laughs> um, I like that. So, my next uh, thing after... Also, this is in the... Oh, yeah. As I said, it matters because we have cards that banish from the discard. That is true, discard. and that is going to happen now. Um, yeah. That's why I actually was happy to have this played there. So I'm going to do it. this, so I'm going to pitch Ooh. this for it, which gives me three. Yeah, um, you need to... So two goes for this. So you need to still... Three, yeah? Top three, yeah. Trying to randomize it. Yeah, because the equipments are not in the sleeves, so. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. There goes the uh, equipment. Light action and generic action. Okay, I mean, I guess it's nothing with blood debt, which is. Yeah, th that's something, right? Uh, so then, so yeah, um, this guy is swinging for five. It has go again! And it does have go again. Um. I will defend for... Oh, did you take one damage from my sword? Because it deals arcane damage. Oh, yeah, because it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. sorry. Uh, so this yeah, is potentially a... lethal. Uh, yeah, no, that was not hitting either way. So And it's not potentially lethal. Is it not? I have shield. Oh, okay. They sacrifice what? themselves to... It count as one? Yeah. Nah, fair enough. I, I did not do that. What, so you can attack with them and then still have them as one? <laughs> what? That's nuts. <laughs> That's crazy! This is amazing! That is broken! Broken Majestic Goddamn! Broken Bell! They're calling it now! It's, it's interesting that it's a weapon on the Majestic slot. Oh yeah. It's um, two handed as well, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's yeah. a scepter. Yeah. <laughs> you can't have two of those. <laughs> I mean, you can't have this and... Where's the other one? It's probably on the one point. Oh. That's the common one. The token one. Which gives your auras four damage, but you need to pay three to attack. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you had it on the. Uh, on yeah, the it was on my token. So, punching punch five five. I will. I... Oh. Boo! Oh, wait. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, I am going to defend for five. Okay. I am gonna. Because I've got go again. Yes, because it's a shadow card. I'm going to do this, so pitching... Your phone is locked again. My phone has locked, so pitching this, so I it's go... It's a phantasm. It's a phantasm, and also for... So I've gone up to four now. Uh, I can action, destroy Dreamweavers, the next illusion is... So uh, oh, yeah, you need to do it before I, that. So yeah, I'll do that before yeah. this. Oh, so um, it loses phantasm. Okay. If it hits... Yeah, that's no, fine. I, I want the go again. Uh, yeah, uh, if it put it into your hero's soul and up to one card with phantasm from your graveyard on top of your deck. This card is crazy. Mm -hmm. So then you also get an attack. Bleah. Could you not? I'm also upset because I don't have a yellow card in hand. I should have kept overload in hand. Yeah, uh, it doesn't matter. Because I still need to drop off. I wanted to stop this. You got your shields. Yeah, I know, but I want to keep them. Ah. Oh. I'll drop both to stop this. Okay. Uh, so, so it didn't hit. It didn't hit, so it goes to the drop. Um, and then I will pay. Do you what? still have left? Yeah, yeah, I pitched two. Oh, okay. So I'll pay. So one. yeah, okay. Uh, to get a free swing. down to one. Why? You paid four pitching to two blues. Don't yeah. say that. So this one for this you have one left. You pitch this, you're up to four, and yeah. you need to pay for this still. It costs two. Pay three. Oh yeah 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 okay. okay. I was doing the maths correct, I've just confused myself. That's uh, yeah one. I'll I will sack the shield. Yeah. So because it didn't deal damage it doesn't deal dark It doesn't deal dark Um end of turn I don't think do anything with that. 
So we will draw to four. And this goes to the bottom. And these go to the bottom. Uh, in my turn, now I'm just going to smack you for one. Uh, oh, do you not have cards in hand? No! Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, I'm just smacking you for one. Be smacked for one! Uh, I might want to defend it, you don't know that. It did work out how I hoped it would. I should have checked my pool I'll, I'll defend it with this. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, we literally did just open yeah. these cards, put them in a deck, and. Yeah, we didn't like, read what like, we had. I, I've not seen any of these cards before. This is my second game of Flesh and Blood. Go <laughs> there for is it. no strategy. Go um, no, at the moment we're just flinging cards at each other. I am just like, I will throw everything and hope that nothing has blood there in these, which I've been trying to check, but I don't think any of it does. Uh, also, start of your turn, so you need to. Banish two! Three. Oh, yeah, three shackles. Uh, oh, that's cool. Um, oh, that's, a, that's pretty cool. If tons of light cards and I have. Oh, that has blood there. Yay! That, that could be a problem. Win condition acquired. <laughs> that's how I win. I just need to survive now. That's funky. Um. Okay, that's fine. Would you like to make another soul shackle? Uh, no. Oh. Actually, yes, make no. that. Actually, I will. Listen to the whispers. Listen to the eldritch whispers. Um, I'll just swing it for two. Okay, it doesn't have go. Oh, well, it has go again because of the finger magic. I will go for two. Yeah. Hmm. Let's go for it. Well. <laughs> so, out muscle. While out muscle isn't defended by a card with equal or greater, it has go again. Do you have any resources left? No. Okay. In that case, I'll take four. Do anything? Can I do it so then this blood debt triggers? Um, yeah, there's nothing I can yeah, do. Yeah, you, you just take the damage. It's a spin down, so yeah. Cool. And then draw it to four, so this goes at the bottom. I will attack you with engulfing light. As an additional cost, I can charge. And if I charge this turn, this has, if this hits you, I put it in my soul. Okay. It's attacking you for free. Uh. You, are, you are being freed. Oh, that doesn't help me. <laughs> I was reading it just like, oh, that doesn't help me. Um, one card in hand. Yes. And no actions left. Um, I actually do. 
I will defend with this. Okay. So that's stopped. No charge. I will pitch this and banish a card from my soul to get the token. Ah, no! And that's your turn. Okay. Banish four! I don't know why we're doing this. I could have just got the card and put it on the screen. Hmm? Instead of using my phone, we could have just had the card on the screen in post. Because that's the da- <laughs> You got another card with Vlad dead, though. Oh, fuck. So you have two now. I might be able to play one. <laughs> None of them lets you. Well, I have cards in my hand. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm surprised that. Oh, I just lost. Huh? <laughs> Did you have blood debt? I charged it into my soul, and then I banished it, and I'm like, oh yeah! Wait. The debt has Wait. been paid! Uh, it doesn't deal damage. No, I lose one, it doesn't deal damage. <laughs> the light fades the debt to the shadows. Oh, that was... I'm the one who's meant to die from blood debt. <laughs> Pacos, Pacos is amazing, to be fair. Pacos is that, amazing. That, that was truly fun. That, that genuinely was a really fun experience. Because experiencing all those weird combos that should not happen. It should ever. happen. I was going to pitch two to do this. Yeah. Uh, which gives my. Because I'm attacking a light here, it would have been knocked three. Yeah, uh, it's fine, but. Yeah, a lot of this shit should ever be happening. But yeah, happened. no. Ne never. No, but if you guys do want to try some home brew, uh, flesh and blood. There you go, that's Pac Pac Wars. Wars. Yeah, yeah Pac Wars um, is amazing. Absolutely uh, fantastic. Tomorrow's video is going to be probably us squaring off in the sealed pool. So you say tomorrow's video, but this is getting it loaded for like a week. I mean, we have this to show. We do have this to show, that's a good point. Um, yeah, so whenever you see this, look out to, for the channel because we do have sealed gameplay from, where's the pre-release? Mm, Mana Gaming. Mana Gaming's pre-release, we're looking forward to doing that. And that means we also get a chance to get some more of those nice, nice 12 promos. more packs. 12 and more packs and very nice promos. Yeah, and it's going to be placed at the future promo. Yeah. Galaxy Black. <laughs> I got Luminaris. I, I, I'm a winner. Uh, clearly, I'm the one here. I got the, I got the token for the leader. I was proxying uh, with a ravenous meat axe. Yeah, guys, please like and subscribe and comment. We've got Flash and Blue. We've got Dragon Ball. We've got all sorts. And we'll see you next time.